everyone. Welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today I am gonna share with you guys a couple of um, interesting experiences that I have had with my face. So I'm actually signed up to get six different treatments of Clear and Brilliant by Laser Away. They are a facility that specializes in all kinds of different laser facials um, and laser treatments and hair removal and all that stuff. Um, and they are giving me six different treatments to experiment with and see how my results turn out. So I know I've shared on here with you guys my struggle with acne since I was probably 16. It's gotten better as I've gotten older. I still have a lot of scarring from when it was really bad when I was younger. Um, but I used to tan in a tanning bed. Yeah, that used to be really cool to do. Not so much today. I have since learned my lesson, but I have a lot of damage that was already done from tanning and tanning beds and not wearing sunscreen every day. So I do have a lot of sun damage. And then on top of that, I just have a lot of like hyperpigmentation in my skin. So I've tried everything on the market to try to remove all these different marks. Um, but unfortunately, those products, some of them are really great and I use them daily. They're just kind of like a preventative, you know, over a long period of time, they will lighten some of those marks. But truly the thing that will really jumpstart that process of getting rid of a lot of those scars is doing a treatment like Clear and Brilliant, which is a laser facial. Now, I knew nothing about laser facials before I started having these treatments. And again, I've only had one treatment, so I still have you know five more. So my skin is not perfect. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. And the light is really nice right here by the window, so it probably makes my skin look really good. And I wanted to make a video for you guys as I'm in the process of going through this. And then you can only have one facial a month, and I have six. So in six months, at the end of it, I'm gonna give you guys an update um, and let you know what I think because Trust me, I know the struggle of having issues with acne or scarring or just dark spots on your face. It like can be very overwhelming and depressing and frustrating. I know there's probably some of you out there that have a similar type of skin like I do and I hope that this helps you guys and I hope that maybe if you didn't know about this treatment, maybe this would be something that would be a great solution for you. So far, I highly recommend it. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips that I filmed before I had my first treatment um, and then my experience while I was there and then also my experience after. I think I filmed maybe on the ride home. Um, and then as time goes on, I will pop in and kind of mention a few different like updates and again like on Instagram and stuff if you guys don't follow me there. If you're interested in this subject, um, go follow me on Instagram because I'll probably start like a highlight or something just to like keep track of my experience and how it's been going. But yeah, okay. So here was the very first time I ever went. I don't know why people do that. Okay, so this is like the first time I've ever been on camera without makeup on. This is a little scary. Um, basically, I'm going to get a laser facial for the first time in my entire life. I have, as you guys can see, some hyperpigmentation, some sun damage, and some acne scarring. Um, and a lot of it's hidden most of the time when I wear makeup, but I have been given the opportunity to try this new treatment called Clear and Brilliant. So I thought I'd bring you guys along, um, maybe do a Q&A later on, let you guys know what I think about this treatment after my first one. I'm supposed to have six, so let's go and see what it's like. I'm a little worried. I think it, they say it could hurt online, but I have heard um, that they put a numbing cream on, so I'll let you know how it goes. Well, this is the numbing cream. I'm gonna sit here for 25 minutes and let it numb up my face. <laughs> and then they get down to business. I'm a little nervous. My lips are kind of going now. Okay, I just left. Uh, I look really white because they put all this zinc sunscreen on me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it did hurt a little bit it just feels like tingling like really like kind of hot tingling and the forehead hurt the most surprisingly down here it didn't really hurt at all um, and they put some vitamin C on my face after and then they covered my face in zinc uh, sunscreen and you have to just keep moisturizing all like every day and then put sunscreen on every day, which I do every day already. I will say when I, my first one, I don't think I put enough of the numbing cream on my forehead. 
because it did hurt quite a bit on my forehead. Um, so this time I'm interested and kind of excited to see what happens when I'm, I'm gonna like layer that numbing cream on like crazy um, and just make sure I like get all of it on there because I don't want it to hurt. Um, but again, when I say it hurts, it's like a three out of 10. It doesn't like hurt so bad. Um, and then the parts that were numbed, I could like barely feel it. So I'm pretty sure if I just would have put more on my forehead, I'll be good, but I'll keep you posted. And then today I'll try to vlog a little bit of the procedure and like what it's like in there. And I'll let y'all know how it goes. So here is what happens. You go into laser away for your appointment. And again, I've had one treatment so far and today I'm actually going in for my second in about two hours, in about one hour. Better hurry up. You go into your treatment and they have you apply this numbing cream onto your face. Okay guys, I just did my numbing cream. Very numb. I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere so you can see this. This is the machine. And they just kind of move this laser around your face. I'm gonna link a video that they made about the science behind it because I don't want to mess that part up. But what I do know is if you're trying to improve the appearance of fine lines and also if you're trying to improve the texture of your skin, um, it really does smooth it out. And it also minimizes the appearance of pores. I don't know how many of you ladies that are in your late 20s like I am are noticing that like pores, like I didn't really get why people would say that. I didn't notice pores were like a thing back when I was 21. Your pores get bigger as you get older. I don't know why, but it does reduce the appearance of pores. But after the treatment is done, I did have a lot of redness, um, but the redness goes away in a couple of hours. And really the only like symptom or like after effect is your face kind of feels like sandpaper. But outside of that, like there's no downtime, which is really nice. Okay, I just got back in the car, very red. But you guys, this time, was so much better and they used like a level up on the laser like a more intense laser i'm not kidding you when you guys get the numbing cream use every last drop i put the whole little bucket they gave me on my face and it felt so much better i was like really miserable last time but if you just do what they say and put the numbing cream on like thick you won't really be in any pain like it feels kind of hot but you don't feel the laser. Last time I kind of felt the laser. It was not fun. Anyway, so now I've got a bunch of SPF on my face. My face is really red. If you really got the spots good. I'm gonna go home, edit this video. Oh, I'm parked, but there's a car. Well, I feel awkward. Okay, I gotta go, bye. Before, when I'd put makeup on over my dark spots, you could totally like see through my makeup. And I use a really good coverage makeup. But after that first treatment, the last like three weeks, whenever I put just one thin layer of foundation on, my spots are totally covered. So I can see it working already where it's lifting some of that pigmentation and color, which is amazing. Um, and I don't know, like it's just like so worth it for me so far. Your skin is the largest organ of your body. You know, people say that all the time, it's true and you should take care of it, yeah. And doing something like laser facials are great because they kind of help reboot a lot of the collagen and get your skin feeling replenished and you know, it's not a permanent fix. I think it's something you probably have to maintain every couple years. But in addition to getting laser facials, the other thing that's super important and if you are not doing it and you're like young little 19 year old who thinks tanning your face is fun, don't do it. And everyone used to tell me that when I was young. I mean, I'm not old, but you know, when I was younger. And I just did not believe them or like care. I was like, oh no, my skin's fine. Well, if you guys just wear a simple sunscreen every single day underneath your makeup, it will do wonders for maintaining your, your beautiful complexion, but also using a vitamin C serum. But it's just so important to make sure that you protect your skin from the sun, just your face. You can tan your body, but just make sure that your face is protected, okay? Your money maker. Let's see if there's any questions here on Instagram. Hmm. So someone asked how many laser treatments are needed for clearing acne and is it safe? Well, just to clarify, I don't think that the clear and brilliant tr treatment is made for removing acne. It's removing acne scars, just so you know. I will link Laser Away's page on the Clear and Brilliant treatments. You guys can read all about it and the science behind it. And the second part of that question, is it safe? Yes, it's very, very safe. There's no downtime, um, it's not, a dangerous treatment at all. It's just like having an intense facial. 
So how many laser treatments do you need? You need about six is what they recommend for your first batch. Can they do your chest for sun damage too? Um, I believe they can. I don't really have any sun damage on my chest, so I didn't request that, but I bet you they could if you asked them to. Is, is it getting brighter in here? I think it might be. Hmm. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment below and I will try to answer them in the comments. And yeah, hopefully this is a helpful video for those of you that struggle with any hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, fine lines. And let me know if any of you guys have tried it before because I'm pretty excited to see how my results turn out after the next few treatments. See, it's so bright in here all of a sudden. Here we go. Here I am. This is what happens when I film by myself. So you guys can kind of see. I still have some marks. I'm trying to shade it a little. Man, see? Okay, I'm gonna go. It's getting weird. Just kidding. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Love you, see you next week. Next week's gonna be a really fun video, so stay tuned.